Today, I'm gonna to be making these Pillsbury Reese's Peanut Butter Cookie Dough uh, Cookies. They're made with real Reese's Peanut Butter. They were $2.50 at Walmart. Um, and you, you find them in the refrigerated section of the grocery store. It says safe to eat raw and it makes 24 cookies. Uh, you preheat your oven to 350, place cookie dough rounds about two inches apart on ungreased cookie sheet, um, flatten in crisscross pattern, bake for 10 to 14 minutes. So, since it says safe to eat raw, I am going to put one on a plate and keep this in the refrigerator while these are baking. And that way, um, when these come out, uh, Kevin and I can try it uh, for you cooked and raw. I think um, I, I like the idea of doing that. So I'm just gonna put these on my cookie sheet. I'm using one of those um, Reynolds brand baking sheets and they're really nice the parchment sheets. So I'm gonna put them all on here. We'll see how far they spread. There we go, and you can see I'm missing one because I reserved the one. Let's do our crisscross pattern. When I am making uh, the peanut butter cookies in the roll uh, that you cut, I normally uh, have a plate like this of sugar and I'll take the fork and I'll dip it into the sugar and then and then make my um, press it down and then I'll um, dip it into the sugar again and then press it again but since it didn't tell me to do that that's why I'm not doing it I'm doing it exactly like they said so uh, but normally it just gives it, it's easier to get your fork out of the dough when it has that sugar, because you can see it, it's stuck a little bit on some of these. Um, but it's, it makes it easier, but it also adds those, uh, the little crystallized sugar pieces to the top of your cookie too. So I'm gonna get these in the oven. I'll probably put them in for 13 minutes and then we'll be back. So this is how they look when they first come out. You can see they, they really didn't, they expanded a little bit, but not much. So you can fit them all on one cookie sheet. So you're supposed to let them cool for two minutes. So we're gonna do that and then we'll be back to try them. So they are, I didn't talk about calories. It says uh, it had, they're safe to eat raw because they have uh, heat treated flour and pasteurized eggs. Uh, ready to eat manufacturing. Uh, find out more, visit us at pillsbury.com forward slash safe to eat raw. Uh, there are 12 servings per container, two cookies, 38 grams or 160 calories. It says product can be frozen up to two months if placed in the freezer before the use by date printed on the package. Thaw before opening. Do not microwave the cookie dough. I'd say it would pull into a puddle. So do you want to try it cooked or no, raw? No, let's try raw first. Raw. I've never been a fan of peanut butter cookie dough. Mm-mm. No, he hasn't. Um, I don't even taste peanut butter when I eat that. <laughs> to me, that does not taste any different than the peanut butter that comes in the roll. Just the regular. It does not taste not like Reese's brand. Not Reese's. It just tastes like the regular peanut yeah. butter cookie dough. Of course, if you like that, here it is. Yeah, here it is. Oh, yeah. I bet you these are more expensive than it's the already. Tube. Yeah, it probably is because they've made them for you. But the tube's not ready to eat. Right, exactly. Even though we do anyway. Okay, well, now. Flip it all down. I still don't taste peanut butter. I never have. This brand, anytime you've ever made the rolls, mm -hmm. I never think they taste like peanut butter. When I was making them, I told you that I would um, put put them in sugar and, and crisscross them. The Give you a little sugar granules on top. But what I've always done to make them better is I always have a bag of Hershey Kisses 
and when they come out of the oven, squish them down the middle. I put a Hershey Kiss in each one. That way, you not only get a little bit of peanut butter flavor, but you also get chocolate. Um, I prefer this cooked. Oh yeah. I prefer it cooked, ba baked in the oven. I prefer this baked. I like the texture better. Oh yeah. Do you get a peanut butter flavor though, really? It is, um, it's not strong. Yes, I do get peanut butter, but it's not strong peanut butter. It's not like a strong Jif peanut butter. It's not even like the Reese's peanut butter because mm. you can buy Reese's peanut butter in a jar and it does not taste anything like this. I mean, if, if I were blindfolded and you gave me that, I would never say peanut butter. I would, but mm -hmm. if I would never say Reese's peanut butter. Yeah. If you've ever bought just the regular peanut butter in the roll i'm telling you it's it's the same thing i think they've just put it in a different package that's all they've done is put it in a reese's package i don't think there's anything uh reese's to do with it they've just put that name on there because it gets your attention mm -hmm. and it will make people buy it like i did um so i'm telling you so that you know if you like that then that's great but don't expect, I would hate for you to get these and expect it to be any more than what you already get from those because it is not. It's the same, it's the same exact flavor. Yeah. Um, and if I bought these again, I would still do the, um, the, kiss, the kiss just because it does add more flavor to it. Uh, they're, they're, they're basic cookies. And if I did them again, I would still do my sugar trick. Yeah, I had didn't a little do sweetness it. to it. Yeah, I didn't do it this time because the directions didn't say to, and we always try to follow the directions uh, for our reviews because we figure they know best. But I do think a, just a little bit of sugar on top makes it, it goes a long way, doesn't it? Oh yeah, you hardly use any. Yeah. So I hope this helps you out. I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.